Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and in this video I'm bringing back the CFD Summer Series. This is video 3 where I'm going to talk about open foam in general. So maybe this is going to be a shorter video, we'll see. So what I wanted to talk about is um, open foam. So as I mentioned in my previous videos, <coughs> approximately 90% of users, according to my statistical experience, utilizes three solvers in open foam. Simple foam, pimple foam or piezo foam and interfoam. And the rest is a niche of a sub niche of 10 to 12%. So most people utilize the simple uh, 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 single phase uh, solvers as may, uh, or the volume of fluid method and nothing else out of that, um, out of those three um, solvers. And of course, you, uh, people need meshing, so snappy hex mesh or CF mesh. And this brought me to uh, the idea to talk about the longevity of open foam and different open foam versions. So you know that there is a certain release schedule every year, every or twice a year, depending on openfoam.com or openfoam.org. And then if you go to those home pages and you look at the release notes, what changed, those are really niche additions. And that has been like that now for years. And I've been eagerly waiting the changes, but the, and the changes are cool. I'm not saying that they are not useful. They are just for a niche of a sub niche of users because most people use simple foam, pimple foam and interfoam. And I just uh, remote desktoped into one of my older laptops and uh, because there I have version 2012 as well as the current development version of open foam. So 2024, versus this uh, so uh, uh, july 2024 versus december 2020 and i took a look at simple foam pimple foam and interfoam and the two main uh, equations uh, where uh, the velocity pressure coupling is being solved so the really the, the core of each open foam simulation and if you take a look in simple foam the diff function, so which compares the source code, does uh, for simple foam, it doesn't give back anything. So since 2012, uh, sorry, t t uh, 2020, uh, yes, so 2012, yes, so, so version 2012, since, so since the year 2020, nothing major changed in the source code of simple foam. So you see if over 40% of the people could use the 2012 version and get the same results as with 2312. Very similar for the velocity of pimple foam and interfoam, and there are slight changes in the P equation of pin pimple foam and uh, interfoam. There is one, uh, this is related to syntax. So it's not mesh solver anymore, it's just. Uh, so this mesh solver is uh, being got not. And in P, the P equation in pimple foam, you uh, have uh, an MRF zero filter. So this is really M uh, the MRF, so r rotating uh, model. So this is also just a niche of P equations and nothing else has changed in those solvers. So it's, I, I have a very similar feeling like with current AAA gaming, if you are uh, playing computer games, that currently you don't really need the, the latest and greatest. You can just roll with an older version and you are just fine. Unless you know that in the release notes there is one specific model that you require. Then update, but otherwise I, I personally do update uh, at least once a year every open form installation because my, I know that uh, clients of mine use uh, uh, mostly the, the latest version. But as long as you don't have to update because you change your operating system or, or something else or there are some uh, uh, Linux 
library issues, incompatibilities, then you don't really have to update. Just roll with your old OpenFOAM installation. You can just use, uh, and you'll never have backwards compatibility. So a couple of years ago, I wouldn't have done this video because I would have told you that please update every year. But now in the last couple of years, I got uh, more and more this feeling that you don't really have to update to the latest version. And coming back to my previous videos, this is why I meant that uh, Cartesian, this applies also to Cartesian mesh, uh, as I mentioned, because that hasn't changed since I think 2012. And this is also why I meant, do I have it open here? Yes, here on the tutorial wiki, you can go to the up-to-date tutorials, but in the archive section, if you take a look at, for example, the programming tutorials, uh, here you have version seven tutorials. Um, where do I know something that is a bit outdated? Version seven. Yeah, so you do have um, a bit outdated tutorials, but since in the last version, in the basic solvers, nothing really changed most probably those archived, not uh, completely up-to-date tutorials will help you also. And also if you go to this, um, to, to, to these tutorials of Hakan Nilsson, they will also help you, even though they are outdated, most of them will still apply to your uh, problem setting. So this is what I really wanted to talk about because while doing the first two videos, this really came up this uh, idea and I thought that this is also important for you guys. So with that, I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you in the next video.